to today's vlog today's vlog is gonna be another what i eat in a day because you guys seem to love the first one during december i think i did it and you guys really seem to <laughs> look the whole spot of my name you know what it's okay he's my child that's my <laughs> what was i saying um, so as you can see i got my pre-workout snack or breakfast this is basically the small meal me and my boyfriend share before we head to the gym i mentioned this before i'll mention it again i really don't like to eat way too much in the morning especially at the gym i remember when i was in school i just hated having breakfast i just could not wrap my head around having breakfast it just made me nauseous and all that i would wait till i get to school to eat i don't know why i've now grown out of that it's so important to fuel yourself the second you wake up and in a much healthier way this time so i'm having some bagels with some cashew cream cheese and then i'm having some eggnog yogurt with granola cacao nips coconut flakes blueberries bananas i'm sharing this with my boyfriend half of this is for me half of this is for him one bagels for me one bagels for him before i eat any of that i'm going to be taking my seed daily symbiotic which ironically today's video is sponsored by seed i take my symbiotic with my pre-workout meals beforehand or i'll take it after my workout with my actual breakfast for the new year i've been really focusing on keeping my gut health stable and balanced by one cutting out ingredients and adding supplements to my daily routine you guys already know that i really enjoy taking vitamins for a quick little supplement intake now seed is one of my favorite probiotic as well as prebiotic especially since it's all in one little capsule seed plays a super important task in my health routine anyways because it supports digestive health skin heart health immune function and a lot more i also love that seed has no synthetic or chemical coating and you don't have to refrigerate it keep it in your cabinet or your pantry. Seed helps with respiratory health, gastrointestinal, immunity health. Since I'm always on the go, seed makes it really easy for me to take it on the move. I've been taking seed almost every morning for a year now and dude, it's impacted my overall gut health like crazy. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Like I'm so serious. I love taking vitamins over anything. My body has never felt any better since taking seed and you want to take this on an empty stomach. Most, most preferred. Um, it might make you feel a little weird but that shows that it is working me i like to have it during me eating my food or before or right after i just get it in either way i highly recommend adding seed to your daily routine if you're considering making healthy changes into your lifestyle because it is life-changing this is like my second refill and it's already like at the bottom so if you're considering adding seed to your routine i have the link in the description below for you to get your very own let's eat our first meal of today's what i eat in a day along with the daily symbiotic Take the bacon. It's the one that she You're eating raw meats? Yeah, raw. That sounds so good right now. Okay. Hi, Papa. Cuddle buddies this morning. <laughs> All night. Wait, you want water? Oh, 
it comes to peeping through the keyhole it be trying to find what you need in order to be safe whilst then avoid it true well if we face our bakeries we'll find that all is bliss but if we never take a shot i guess we'll never miss problems that we face are problems that we cause and if the truth be told the heaven's door is hiding in the soul Okay, fam, we are back home. It is now time for breakfast, and today I'm excited for breakfast because usually I make breakfast burritos, but today I'm making breakfast tacos. It's a special day, it's Friday, oh, the weekend's coming. We're gonna have a special little breakfast. Right here, I have my cilantro, avocado, peppers, lemon. So we're gonna add some potatoes. I haven't had potatoes in a while. We have the eggs. Some corn tortillas. I couldn't find any healthy corn tortillas. These are the only ones that were small. And I mean, I guess I just gotta work with it. Some shaved Parmesan cheese and some leftover pico de gallo. Okay, we got the papas and peppers simmering right now. And then once they're soft enough, I'm gonna add the eggs. But on an empty stomach before I eat, I really love to have my homemade green juice. If you don't know, I always show what I add to my green juice. So it's basically my whole juice. I'm trying to remember. Cucumber, ginger, apples, pineapples, um, blended spinach and water, celery. You can literally just add anything. But mine has like majority of those types of fruits in it. You can add even like green grapes and whatnot. You know, it's always different. And if it's ever like too green for you, too earthy for you, you can always add honey. I usually add honey or water it down with a lot of water. And then you have like a stretch. And I got these cups on Amazon. If you guys are ever wondering, I got these glasses on Amazon. And it just makes you feel like you went and bought a green juice from Whole Foods. We're drinking that right now before breakfast is ready. Alright, yo, we got our breakfast tacos. I'm telling you, these look so bomb. I've never made them anything like these, and they look so damn good. I don't even like having avocados that much on my tacos unless it's guacamole, but this is still looking bussin'. So I'm gonna try it. Bone apple teeth. Mmm. The papas really didn't make a difference. I'm adding a little bit more pico. Mm -hmm. That'll do it. Oh, it's so good. I saw that drip. You know what? It's a messy hair day today. We're making a matcha because, bro, when I tell you that I need it right after eating breakfast, because eating breakfast puts me in a coma. <laughs> No coffee anymore, not anymore, but like I only had a lot of coffee for the holidays, you know, for like a pumpkin flavor, for a peppermint flavor. So we're, we're doing matcha for a while. Like I made matcha in a really shitty way. Um, I just never wanted to do it again, but I knew that I did it in a really bad way because I put too much and not enough milk. And because also the matcha teaspoon that I used was so big. Now I do a one fourth teaspoon. teaspoon. 
into a separate brown sugar. I love brown sugar mainly with coffee. I do love honey with my matcha, preferably just honey sometimes, but brown sugar and honey in my matcha is a go-to. People use like regular water. I don't know why, but I personally like to use boiling water when I'm mixing my matcha. So you only put a little bit and then mixer, um, or you can use a frother. <laughs> You can even add a milk froth on the top if you want to, but I like mine plain. Yep, approved. Sometimes it's like a hit or miss with me when I make my matcha, but if I feel, I feel like if I make it the same way each time, it's gonna be good, so. Currently prepping to make a buffalo tofu Caesar salad wrap. I have some tofu drying right here, and then I mixed up my own Caesar salad dressing. You can just look up a recipe anywhere. But usually what would be in there is just an egg yolk, mustard, oil, garlic, lemon, juice, um, Parmesan cheese, and salt and pepper. There, my friends, is the Caesar Buffalo Tofu Salad Wrap. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, Mushed up bananas with cinnamon, and I stuffed them in the dates, and then I'm adding pistachios. I made a snack slash dessert. It looks so damn good. These are pistachio stuffed dates. Healthiest like sweet thing. If you're ever having like a huge sweet tooth, this is like the most healthiest sweet snack you can like probably ever have. Here, Papa, let me know how it tastes. So it's already dark. Um, the, the sunset, it just gets dark so quickly. I gotta start making um, dinner soon. Let's try this hull. <laughs> Mm, I like it. I said this once, I'll say it again. Dates taste identical to caramel for me. So damn good. Oh, that's my snack. All right, we're getting started on dinner. Mia's lemon pepper recipe that she has on her cooking page. That's the app, follow her. Her shrimp and creamy garlic sauce. Ooh. I'm gonna have a set of rice, so I'm going to be washing my rice. Always wash your rice. I didn't do it before. I didn't think it made sense, but now it's religious that I have to clean my rice. For the occasion, since it's a what I eat in a day and I have not opened this in forever, ironically, it's non-alcoholic, but we're gonna open it anyway. Oh, oh. Beautiful. Whoa, wait, bye. Here's the dinner, the last meal of the night. Ooh, that is not bad.
Say I need you How many times 